the people. So those of you that are awake, you've got to start to prepare seriously now. Don't let this be uh, a motivation to just stock up a little. Oh, I told you a year ago, two years ago, five years ago in person, my gut is get your family out, get your, and I just, to fight the globalists, I've stayed in a major city, but now the drive to get out is just, I can't ignore it now. It's just literally ordering me to do it. Uh, if you have to stay in the cities, you've got to have a retreat strategy and you've got to be, you know, uh, serious about that. This is not something that um, uh, is going to ever go away. It's going to come again and again. And each time. The what American about looking would... into it? I mean, because I got a lot of friends that are patriots, and really smart guys in business. They say helicopters, planes, they've got retreats, you know, in areas of, of, of the hill country. I mean, should I look at that? I mean, because you get a total lockdown or you think it'll be early enough if I'm smart to get out via vehicle? <sighs> Well, that's a tough thing. You've got to have advance warning to be able to get out by vehicle. Uh, I have encouraged a lot of my clients who are young enough to get a pilot's license. It's not that expensive and to, you know, uh, use planes are fairly economical now to be able to leapfrog over the, the quarantines, leapfrog over the shutdowns if there is. And that's what's really worse. If they instantly shut down all roads in some of the next, uh, you know, well, look at how the globalists are all fleeing by, by jet right now. Well, 